Hello, and welcome to the ICC Modbus Master Tool Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to connect to a Modbus RTU slave. In order to read or write any registers on a device, you must first connect to it. This ensures that the tool can successfully communicate with your device and that the wiring and communication settings are all correct. Let's get started. First, click on the connection status icon here. This icon will always display the current connection status. When clicked, it will connect or disconnect from a slave device. This will bring up the media selection window. Make sure serial is selected and click OK. Next, we need to set up our communication settings. Enter the slave address of your Modbus device into the target address field. Next, select the COM port to use. This dropdown will display all the available COM ports on your PC. The final three settings must match the settings on your Modbus slave. This can be found in the documentation for your device or in the configuration parameters on the device. Select the baud rate from this dropdown to match the baud rate of your slave device. And do the same with the parity. Finally, select the number of stop bits to use. After you've configured all the settings to match your Modbus slave, click the OK button to connect. If all the communication settings and wiring are correct, the tool will connect to the device. The status icon will now change to connected. You'll also notice that the status here on the right has changed from disconnected to indicate that we're now connected to a device on COM2. To disconnect, simply click on the connection icon again and the status will change back to disconnected. If you'd like to learn more about what you can do with the tool after connecting to a device, take a look at the tutorials for uploading, downloading, verifying, and logging. Thanks for watching.